at the same time, I was looking for jobs as a fashion designer, but yeah. I could not find anything because really? I was I was overqualified. Oh no, that's the I worst was, answer I, ever. I hate it. Was it. <laughs> so terrible when you come to interview and they listen to you and they say like. No, but you're overqualified because uh, in six months you will just like uh, uh, you'll leave us. That's what they say. That like, is what gonna... I know. I don't understand that answer. They're like, we're afraid you'll be bored here, and it's like, um, just pay me. <laughs> don't worry, I can do something like after work hours, not to be bored. And also, but... who do you think you're hiring? People who are going to be doing this for the rest of their lives? They're never going to want to advance. They're never going to want to do something else. Okay. Anyway, sorry. Yes, yes. I've I've heard right, that answer yeah. myself. I know what you mean. <laughs> you know what is it, right? It's yeah. so silly. If I came here, then I have an interest to to do something in this field in in your store or whatever. Like those immigrants, they don't have so much money to to take it, and like they have to support families that they brought. So that system is really uh, not not a smart one. Not right. Uh, I'm, yeah. Anyway. <laughs> Yeah, not, now I'm a big I, I know. It's, I know. We we obviously have a, have a problem with that part. But yes, so you so yes. you just started looking for fashion jobs. Yes, back to that. Right. <laughs> so yeah, uh, wasn't successful. Then uh, quite fast found the job as a uh, as a co check and a mm -hmm. usher in in the theaters, and they transferred me to uh, to boutique uh, uh, to the boutique store oh. to do sales. So, uh, and while I was doing that, I realized that I really want to paint. And, um, ah, and I also went to, like, I applied to the Ministry of Education. I wanted to see if I can go and take some courses or some schooling. Oh, okay. And, but when I submitted all my documents and all my credentials from university, from my previous university, right, mm -hmm. they said, they said you have equivalent of masters in fashion design here. Oh, like we don't, yeah. So they, they they said like, I don't know where where you're gonna go. Like, uh, wait now when they a, when they say you have an equivalent of it, does that mean that they can transfer it over and you can like technically go? I have a masters in fashion design. Yes, okay, exactly. all right. I didn't yes, I didn't know exactly. if they were saying like that's what yeah. this is, but we can't call it that because you didn't get it here. I, I didn't know. Okay. Yeah, no, because they do, uh, you supply, uh, uh, you ask for transcript from your university, okay. then you do translation of it, and then they check, and let's say you have so many hours in uh, anatomy, or so many hours in color theory, okay. uh, or still life, or whatever, painting, or drawing, so when they see an amount of hours and the qualification of university where you came from, that's how they do equivalent uh, uh, okay. Whatever, whatever your level is. Okay. So yeah, I have I have this paper where it says like your credential is equivalent of Canadian master design in fashion. Okay. So Ma you masters in fashion design. So then, what so, did that mean? Were you not able? To, were you still able to take courses? Did you continue? Like, what happens after they tell you this? Yeah. <laughs> Zip tick. It means nothing in real life. <laughs> okay. You can put it under the frame and like this. Here's a piece of artwork for you to hang up. <laughs> yes, yes. Okay. 